So Camilla, we're here to talk about NDT. Could you explain its purpose in Formula One and, and exactly what it is? Yes, of course. NDT stands for non-destructive testing, which is a branch of engineering concerned with all the methods for detecting flaws in the materials. We utilise four methods in, in the factory. This one is ultrasonic inspection. So this equipment uses high frequency probes that emit ultrasonic waves into the material under the test. Sound wave travels all the way through, gets bounced back from the back wall, comes back to the transducer, and this equipment transformed ultrasonic wave into electrical signal that's displayed on this. I thought it would only be scanning the top surface and not looking right through it to something potentially inside the carbon fibre or even on the other side of it. Yes, ultrasonic is used to detect indication internally. So it's not just scanning the surface of the part, it's just scanning all the way through. What is this machine for then? So the other set is Eddy Current set. Eddy Current is a method that utilises magnetic field. So this little probe contains a coil. Through the coil runs a current producing magnetic field. This set is tracking the changes in the magnetic field generated by the Eddy Current in the metal. The imperfection is changing the man magnetic field. So once we hit the indication that we think it's a defect, this set will record it. Wow, so it's studying parts on the car that could potentially have failed that you can't really see with the naked eye. So there are two other processes to this. We've got two other methods. Let me start with dye penetrant inspection. It's a method that is used to reveal surface breaking indications by bleed out of fluorescent dye from the floor. This inspection is carried out in a dark room under the UV light. That's a vision-based method, yes. but with the help of UV light. What about the other process? Another one is magnetic particle inspection. It's a method that reveals surface breaking defects by utilising the magnetic field. The magnetic field is applied into the component, then the part is magnetised by running the current through the part. So is that like a bigger version of this then? It works on the similar principles because it uses a magnetic field. It's, it's proper science, isn't it? It really gives me and other drivers out there peace of mind to know that when we jump into the car and drive the thing at over 200 miles an hour, that it's been thoroughly checked. And um, yeah, like I said, I wish I had learned this many, many years ago. So thank you very much for this very detailed explanation.